Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton and I thought in this video we could take a little break from revision and give your brain a little bit of a workout, a little bit of a stretch to wake you back up again. This is a puzzle which I was sent earlier today and the idea is you've got a square that's one metre by one metre here and in the centre here you've got an octagon and all you've got to do is work out the area of that octagon. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can figure out what that area is. Okay, did you pause the video? Don't restart it unless you've had a go. Right, here's how you work out that area. The key thing to solving this puzzle is to realize what's going on with these lines. This line, this diagonal crosses from that corner to halfway across there. This one does the opposite. And both of these are going to this halfway point on the opposite side, which means that where they cross must be exactly in line with a quarter way across here. So, and the same uh, with this one here as they cross, and that one there as they cross, and that one there as they cross. So we could add a little bit to this diagram. We could add another square. We know that this square is in line with that quarter mark there and that quarter mark there and that quarter mark and that one and that one and that one and that one and that one. So we know what the dimensions of this square are. We know that it must be half a metre there and half a metre there and the total area has got to be half a metre multiplied by half a metre or quarter of a metre. All we've got to do now is work out the area of these little bits. Now that's a tiny bit trickier, but not an awful lot. Let's focus just on this section here, and I'm going to redraw that as a graph. So we've got Y, and we've got X. And we know that they do this. The question is, what's going on there? Well, just here, we know that this point here, it's got to be halfway up this side because it's going from here, which is right at the bottom, to an equal height where it joins here. So this, as it crosses this midpoint, has got to be halfway up it. That's got to be, let's call that one there, which on that scale means that that has to be two. Likewise, we can call that one and that two. So we've got some sort of scale here. And we can come up with a formula for each of these lines. This one is y equals minus 2x plus 2. The gradient is minus 2 and the y-intercept is 2. This one here is y equals minus a half x plus 1. We've got two equations for two lines, and we're interested in this point where they cross over here. So we make these two equations equal to each other. We say minus 2x plus 2 equals minus a half x plus 1. With a little bit of rearrangement, we bring the minus 2 over here, add 2 to both sides, we subtract 1 from both sides, and we get that 1 equals, let's see, uh, 1.5x. So rearranging that a tiny bit further, we get that 2 equals 3x, or that x equals 2 thirds. So this distance, let me switch colours so it's a little bit clearer, that distance just there has got to be 2 thirds. 2 thirds of what though? Well, if we look at this, we know, again, we've got one there, and one there, and one there, and one there. All these distances that I'm marking are equal, and there's eight of them. So, that distance there is one-eighth of a metre. We know that this distance here is two-thirds of that one-eighth. So, two-thirds multiplied by one-eighth. Eighth, and you get uh, 
fourths equals one twelfth. Now, the question is, why am I doing all this? What is the point of going through all these steps? Well, we can now redraw this center section. We can redraw it like this. We've got a square at each corner there. And we've got the lines coming across, the lines which we know about. So there's one going like that, another going like that, and another going like that, and another going there. And then we've got the other ones like that, like that, like that, like that. Not very neat, I'm afraid, but you get the idea. And we've got this corner, this section here. We can work out what that is because we know each side of that is one twelfth of a metre. Okay, the area of that individual part. And we can then work out the area of these triangles as well, because we know that that distance there has got to be twice that. So that has got to be two twelfths. So the area of this is one twelfth multiplied by one twelfth, that is 144. And we've got another here, 144, 144. And this one here again, 144. Four. We've then got these triangles. And the triangles, we're going to do half the base times the height as you would for working out the area of any triangle. And it actually comes out as 144 again. And 144, 144, 144, 144, 144, 144. Four. And I've just realised I've made a mistake. Sorry, these should all be fractions. It should be 1 over 144. Hopefully some of you spotted that before I did. So all of these sections here, the area of each one of them is 1 144th and the area of this total section here is one quarter, as we've already worked out. So we can put all of this together now. We've got that area as a product of this one, take away all these little sections that we cut out. And we've got one, two, three, we've got 12, 144 fourths, which simplifies down to one twelfth. So the calculation that we're doing double check my working, I've dropped my bit on the floor there. Uh, the calculation that you're going to do is this entire square is one quarter, so you're going to do one quarter minus one twelfth, and that comes out, if you put these as equivalent fractions, that is going to be three twelfths minus one twelfth, which comes out as two twelfths, which comes out as one sixth. The area of this entire section in the middle is one sixth of a meter squared. Did you get the right answer? Good luck in your GCSEs everyone, and if this video was useful to you, please use the buttons below to like, subscribe, or share it with anyone else you think could also use a little help. Thanks for watching.